So getting ready for church, don't have time to eat anything. So I just add a small spoonful of instant coffee because I got six hours of sleep last night and I've, and yesterday was, you know, a 21 hour day on four. I'm pretty tired and I need the caffeine, but that was still a dumb idea. So I'm sitting here with my good friend, Honey Nut Cheerios, and I, yeah, I'm tired. I am freaking tired. I ended up making it to church. I was tired. I didn't I didn't fall asleep, which is good. Because of how tired I am, that was a very distinct and entirely likely possibility. But yeah, I don't really know what to say today. When I was on my way back home from, from church, I bought, my, I bought a long box. My first long box that will then contain a large portion, if not the entirety, of my comics. So far. So far. And also, at my comic shop, they also have, like, some boxes where it's like, alright, 99 cents each, or two for a box. So, I picked up. Issue four of the Daredevil Man Without Fear of Frank Miller and Company. That because it looked cool. Issue three of that. Because I'm like, I really should own some Frank Miller. It'd be the right thing to do. And that, because I was intrigued. Because I'm like, what? Something set in the 616? About regular people doing regular things. By that I mean air quotes all around. I'll be stoked to read those later. Still need to get around to reading Flash number eight. Yeah, that'll be a good day. I think I should probably do some cleaning up, but I've got yesterday's vlog to edit and upload right now, which I'll be starting in a few short minutes, and then I have to edit and upload how to dodge an arrow, and then record the song for tomorrow, and then I did and upload the vlog for today. There will be a lot of videos. Lots of videos. V-I-D. forgot to even talk about that I had a wicked chat with my family today. I like my family. My family is rad. I found out that there will be a large family shindig for my grandma's 80th birthday, which will be awesome because I won't have seen most of the people that will be there in a long time. And I really like all of my extended family because they're all awesome. It's fantastic. We have great times whenever we get together. Like a boss. Right now, there is presently in the slow cooker upstairs my first adventures in slow cooking. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of chicken drumsticks, barbecue sauce, and some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of wing sauce. So it's in there. It'll be like that for approximately Approximately six hours, which means I will be eating supper at like, I don't know, 8.30. I should probably cook something else to go along with the, you know, chicken in sauce that will melt off the bone into my belly. Really, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I hope it goes well. I'm excited for it to go well. And I'll tell you whether or not it actually goes well. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. And in the Global Sapphire Analytics League, it appears that the Dutch have pulled ahead of the Germans to take the fifth spot behind Australia, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada. This is what happens when you let me cook. I will let all of you find out what it tastes like after I eat it and bask in all of its resplendent glory. That sweet bubbly goop was bubblifying and gooping for like six hours. It will be beautiful. Beautiful, I say. You, my family, are witnessing something rare. I cooked real food. Real food. Yes, I did. I am tired today. <laughs> what you see before you is a concoction consisting of chicken and beans with a lot of sauce. Some chicken and rib barbecue sauce and some wing sauce and some Worcestershire sauce and lemon pepper. You guys have no idea how nice it is to be able to eat real food when I'm at home that I cooked myself. I don't do it very often, but it's nice when I do, you know? Oh jeez, that was incredible. It was like a chicken bomb was made in heaven and went off in my mouth. So I was informed by a very dear friend of mine, Nick, also known to you guys as Extreme Boredom, earlier today that apparently Batman hacked my YouTube account and took it over. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go ahead and call up YouTube, send an email, be like, um, so... Batman hijacked my channel, what do I do? Because really, realistically, if you went up to somebody and you asked that, they'd look at you and be all like, oh, you's a crazy fool. So I'm asking you guys, what should I do? What course of action should I take? Should I just start going back and forth with Batman on my channel, being all like, um, so what you doing on here? Because I have no idea how he's doing it. Like, how do you think I know he's doing it? I don't know. I would like all of your suggestions and recommendations for what I should do, and just post them down there in the comments, help me figure this out. I could really use some help on this one. And because you guys are my family. 
Thank you. It was so awesome on Comixology today. Oh my goodness. I got 508 page Jeff Lemire collected Essex County trilogy thing with like 50 pages worth of extra bonus crap for five bucks. I don't buy digital comics. No. That's why I bought my long box. So I can have my physical comics in a box. Five versus 30. <laughs> Yes, please. Uh, I guess that's all for today, so uh, tune in next time. Same Safa time, same Safa channel.